your attention, And this will please. be a day he'll remember now, for quite a long Robert. time as the man you see Number on your 22. screen will be making his first ever appearance in baseball's postseason. Leading off the inning, Kyle Tucker, Later as they'll look to get the something Astros. going here and even this the game up. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Here's the first pitch. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. The one and one pitch. Nope. Cutter misses and it's three and one. Check that two and one. Three balls nope. and a That's strike cool. to Houston's left fielder. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Some guys with big arms like this they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Now back second baseman J.J. Ho. And now J.J. Ho. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three-run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2-0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. 2-2. Two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. J.J. Ho becomes out number two in the bottom of the ninth. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more right he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap Carter. this thing up without Solid. any problem. Here's the first pitch. That finds the zone, a called strike. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he oh, let that, that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. The one and one pitch. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. Mullins is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. And these wild card games are hard enough. It's your entire season rests on nine innings of baseball. But they put aside all the distractions that come with playing on the road and handled their business. Now it's on to the division series. One step closer to the World Series title.
So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one. And this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game. And more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. So for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire great crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching the American League wildcard game.